Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great tonight. And tonight I have a quick and easy stamping manicure for spring. And this is all about the birds. So let me show you what you'll need. So these are the items and tools we'll be needing tonight. A black nail polish, white, and make sure these are good for stamping as well because we're going to use both the black and the white for stamping. And I also have a dark shade of blue and a lighter shade of blue. I'm actually using the inch to dry tonight, but you can use whatever you have. And I do have a sheer or a tint or even a jelly green polish. So any one of those you have in this, that's fine. And I have my top coat, and this is my favorite fast drying top coat. I do have a tape brush here that I would be using to clean my stamper with. Some pure acetone and my cotton on my cotton cloth to clean my stamping plate. I have a detailing brush, a cleanup brush. I do have one little rhinestone in this dish right here. And tonight for my gradient, I'm actually going to use this for some of you guys to see how to work a gradient with that. And here I have my stamper and I'm using two stamping plates tonight and my scraper. So now that we have everything ready, let's get started. All right, so now that we have all the tools and items that we need together. The first thing I'm going to do is my two nails with the gradient. As, as you could see in my manicure tonight, I did a bunch of things differently, so I'll be showing you how to do all of them. And the first two nails, which is my index finger and the thumb fingernail, I did gradient work on that. So I'm going to do that first and let that dry before we go stamping on it. Now, usually I use my little stamping sponge, but I know some of you don't have that. But if you don't, you could also use one of these little makeup sponge that you can get on eBay. It's like a hundred in a bag for a couple dollars only. So this is much cheaper. It's just a little harder to work with because it's so small, but we can make it work. And the colors that I'll be doing my gradient with is going to be my China Glaze White. And I have my darker shade of blue from Sally Hansen in Sajai. And this is number 430 Brisk Blue. And I also have my Insta Dry Polish again, which is the lighter shade I'll be using, number 425, which is called Blue Away. I have also done my base coat on the Blue Away color and let that dry thoroughly. And now we can go ahead and do the gradient. So as you can see here, I have the dark color on top. So I'm going to do that first. And this is really not that hard, but like I said, it just takes a little more time. So I could put some nail polish on there. And go ahead and tap it in. And tap that in about one third of your nail. And right after that, grab the lighter shade of blue, which is the exact shade I have in my base coat. Just add some onto that brush. And if you could see here, I am just scraping it right off the bar of the brush. And then you go ahead and tap that in, work that in. And then I'm going to flip back and forth now to kind of work this in so it doesn't look like a line. It kind of flows into each other. And this is where it's a little tougher to do with this little sponge, but you can do it. So I think that's not too bad. And then we go ahead and we do the white. So flip this little spongy over here and add some white to that this one I actually have to brush on because it's a little bit thicker and then I'm just gonna do the same tap that in And again, flipping over and make 
make sure that it kind of flows into each other, that you don't have that heavy line around there. And it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect either, because for this particular manicure, it's actually going to be covered up a little bit. But if you're doing this as just a gradient without a design over it, then you go ahead and really kind of work that and let those heavy lines disappear. All right, so that should be good for this manicure. And I'll go and do the same for the index nail. Okay, so now that we have done the gradient on both the thumb and the index nail, we can move on. We will work on the other nails for a little while and then come back to stamping those. So I don't know how well you could see this, but I am using two stamping plates tonight to get these images. And behind these little blackbirds, I actually have white clouds. And for that image, I am using my Puin Nature Lover Plate number one. And I am taking the clouds off of this side here. And for all the bird images tonight, I will be using my Born Pretty Plate number 58. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the clouds from my Puin Plate. And I'll be stamping that with white tonight. And the white that I am using is my China Glaze number... 023 and it's called white on white so this is what it is and I'm using of course my favorite scraper which is my bundle monster scraper and tonight I have a no-name stamper so oh this is really it's a nice sticky stamper I like this one as well it picks up images very very well so that's the one I'm using tonight and here I have clouds actually on the middle fingernail and the pinky fingernail so I'll Go ahead and put those clouds on those two nails and get that over with and then we'll move on to the gradient nails. Let me make sure I get a nice clean scrape. And there it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and transfer that over to the middle finger I got press this down just a little because some of them is lifted off there you could see it it's not very heavy but it's a nice pale white and I'll do the same for the pinky nail Clean my little stamper. Clean my stamping pool. Nice clear image. And we'll put this one right on the pinky. And there it is. Great. So now we can move on. So I would move back now and let's do these two nails. These are already dried. So we can go ahead and work on those and we'll start with a thumb and we'll go all the way down the line. So for this image here I have the scattered birds and most of them I'm actually doing in black tonight except 
for what I usually use as my accent nail. I'll be doing a white egret bird on that and we'll be painting that in with the green jelly polish. So let me grab my stamping polish tonight I'm using is China Glaze and that's number 544 liquid level. And the first image will go on the thumb is the scattered birds. And if you don't have stamping polishes, China Glaze is really a good polish to stamp with. There are many other polishes out there. Um, regular polishes you could pick up on your local drugstore. But I do happen to like the China Glaze as well. And I did put a video out for that in case you guys are wondering what polishes you could or cannot stamp with. So you can take a look at that when you have some time. That's the scattered birds on the gradient. We'll let that dry. And then we'll come back and top coat everything at the end after we're done cleaning up. So let's move on. The index nail, I have the love birds, as you could see here. And I also have a little jewel right above that. But the jewel goes on last, so we'll do that after we top coat. And this is the love bird image that I've used. So we'll go ahead and we'll stamp that right on. There they are. And I'm not going to put them in the middle of the nail. I'm actually going to put them more to the white of the nail. There it is. Because the jewel goes right on top. And now for the nails with the clouds on them, I have the bird on the wire, so we'll do that next. Line that up as straight as you can. There's that image. Let's move on to the, you know what, let's actually move on to the pinky since that's in black as well because the egret is in white. So I'll leave that for last since we have some painting to do on that as well. So I'm just going to jump here along here to the pinky and for that one I actually have the peacock feather but that I'm just going to keep in black as well and that goes as you can see that goes above the clouds as well so take that one out there it is very pretty and we'll go ahead line this up really well Stamp it right on that pinky. There it is. So let me clean the stamping plate and let's do the egret and paint it in green. Because the grass behind that bird. I want to bring that out just a little bit, but not too much that it overpowers the image. That's why I decided to use the jelly polish, or some people might call it sheer. Sometimes I even call it a sheer polish or even a tinted polish but it's basically all the same it's just a transparent nail polish and I have this one here that was given to me as a gift a bunch of these was actually given to me as a gift from my sister unfortunately I don't know the name brand off it it doesn't have it in here but she did pick it up on eBay and these are really great the only thing is they actually thicken up just a little bit Alright, so now back to the egret. So I'm going to pick up this image. And that's going to be in white. And this is not a very heavy white, so it's a light 
color white as you could see so that we're going to put on here as best as you can line it up try and get the whole bird on there and once it's on I'm going to get my detailing brush now and start painting in that grass. So again, if you don't have these jelly polishes, it's not a big deal. It's very easy to make. Take some clear nail polish, add some of your green colors that you have, and that's it. Easy squeezy jelly polishes, homemade. And I'm just taking some up, and this one has thickened up quite a bit but it's okay, it still works. And I'm following the white on this. That's what's gonna bring it out, just to follow the white. And be careful when you're doing this because these two lines here actually look like grass, but they're actually the bird's legs. So you have to just, when you're painting in the grass on there, just be careful and look out for the bird's leg, otherwise you'll end up painting that in green as well. Too much? And that's it for the jelly polish and this would come through as soon as we apply the the top coat you'll be able to see it a little more so the next step we're going to do is clean up around the edges and put our top coat on and our little jewel here and that's it quick and easy manicure tonight i'll be right back with my cleanup tools okay guys so tonight for my cleanup i'll be using my cleanup brush here and some pure acetone polish you can also use your nail polish pen remover if you have one of these these things work really really great i prefer to use the brush tonight because it's a little bit faster and we'll clean up around the edges make sure not to touch that nail because you could ruin the manicure with the acetone just go ahead and clean up all around those nails and then we'll go ahead and apply our top coat and that's it for tonight's manicure a very very quick one and that's why I like nail stamping because it's done so much faster and honestly I'm not a very good artist to paint stuff on so alright so let me finish up doing this and that's it we already finished cleaning up the next thing we'll do is i'm going to go ahead and top coat everything i'll do the the ring finger first to apply that one little gem i have which is just a rhinestone a shade of blue actually it's the index finger so let's do that first giving that a nice thick layer and here's my blue little rhinestone so I'll put that in I'm so used to doing the ring finger as my accent nail that I almost put the jewel on that tonight and we'll just go ahead and top coat the rest of the nails when top coating over your stamping polish try not to drag the brush twice over one image unless it's really loaded with polish or else you can distort that image and don't forget to cap your nails that's what will protect the polish from chipping at the ends here go up that makes your manicure last a little longer as well and i'll go over that gem one more time to secure it
that's it guys here we have it my little bird manicure for spring again welcoming the good weather finally i hope you guys enjoyed this video tonight and if you do have any questions feel free to write to me i'll answer them as best as i can don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming latest videos as well and have a good night everyone thanks for watching bye bye